Minutes, Mrs. Harshberger. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Mr. Chu, for being here today. Um, both President Trump and now President Biden have backed forcing TikTok to sell to an American company. However, the Chinese Communist Party has put export controls on algorithms, bite dance ons that power TikTok. And of course, this has created a gauntlet of regulatory hurdles in China and the US that prevented the sale of TikTok. Now, as a longtime business owner, I want to tell you, Mr. Chu, that waiting until your hands are forced uh, will only drive down the price of your app. And right now, both your hands are tied. And you're going to have to make a deci decision about whether you choose freedom from the CCP or you continue to be an agent of the CCP. And I, I'll tell you why I say it that way. As a former member of Homeland Security, I point blank ask FBI Director Ray, is TikTok a national security threat? And without hesitation, sir, he looked at me and said, yes, Congresswoman, it is. Now, how much data is ByteDance collecting through TikTok that's worth continuing to fight this regulatory gauntlet? Uh, you know, why not take the money and run like any other company would do? Congresswoman, we built Project Texas in order to safeguard, and we listen to the concerns that have been raised, and we're building something that's unprecedented, that no other company is offering to protect US user interests. And we believe it is rigorous and robust. And it, you know, we are even offering third-party transparency and monitors to come in to verify this. Frankly, I haven't heard any good reason why this doesn't work. I've heard, I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of rhetoric around this, but I haven't heard a good reason why it doesn't work. Well, I look forward to these conversations, by the way, yeah, with, with absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, let me, uh, let me go down this road. When TikTok was unveiled to the public, its business model was solely based on generating revenue from advertising. Of course, ByteDance operated a separate app called Doyen for the Chinese marketplace. TikTok is embarking on becoming a so-called super app. In other words, it's a one-stop shop with everything you do, as uh, Representative Fulcher said. It's reported that TikTok's algorithms are so powerful that owner ByteDance has begun to license it to other companies. TikTok's recommendation engine drives usage on the platform, and this leads to promises of quick exposure and fame that leads to, pe leads to even more people joining. And when you sign up, TikTok starts collecting data about you, your location, your gender, your age, your facial data. The user never gets to the end of the content. And that's by design. And obviously, that makes you a lot of money. Now, I know that uh, the Chinese Communist Party is preventing ByteDance from selling TikTok due to export restrictions on the technology. And this causes me to question, how are you going to power TikTok with your Oracle servers located in the US with that Texas project with ByteDance technology if it can't leave China, how, how's that going to happen? I just want you to explain how it's going to happen. Um, Congresswoman, the way that we design this is so that any piece of software, software that is uh, impactful to the code that enters, you know, uh, the uh, that some technical details around this will be reviewed by a third party um, or a few third party monitors just to make sure that we're all comfortable with the code. I want to say this again. I don't know of any other, com other company in my industry who is offering this level of transparency. Well, why are there two different versions of apps, one in China and one in the United States? It's just a different business. Hmm. Well, I think we all know the reason uh, that the Chinese get a different version because ByteDance puts China first and America last. And, you know, TikTok has, with everything we've heard today, sir, when you see 13-year-olds, 16-year-olds, you see the degradation that's happening to our youth and our society. It, you know, it's deceptive, and it's destructive comment, and it's comments, and the worst thing is that it's deliberate, sir. And that's not acceptable. And with that, Chairwoman,